Hi everybody, Tom here. This one might be a little controversial, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I think we have to get away from mowing our meadows in the summer. It's as simple as that. Uh, these are habitats for all kinds of critters, birds, bees especially, and more importantly for plants that support all of the aforementioned. So classic example is milkweed. Um, I am walking through an old orchard right now <clears throat> that has not been mowed. And ironically, it's n not what the owner wanted, uh, but I'm not in charge of this particular part of the property. So, uh, I can comment on it and be, uh, and, the, and the property shall remain anonymous. But long story short, this is a good thing. There's all kinds of things in bloom out here. This is uh, becoming a pollinator oasis. That's great for the apples. And if you followed the late, great Michael Phillips, he was a big advocate for this. Um, planting all kinds of pollinators in orchards so that the the bees and the birds and the butterflies come back to that place it's an oasis and as soon as there are things that are blooming they're going to come check it out and of course that will include the fruit trees so it only enhances that that process that we depend on if we want to have fruit from our uh, fruit trees. Now, this old orchard is is never going to bear again uh, commercially or anything like that. Uh, but at the same time, this is a little ecosystem happening here. So when do you mow? That's the question. The reason that we mow in the summertime is because, well, it gets tall and there's all kinds of brambles in there and poison ivy and bittersweet. And that's all true. Uh, invasive woody species. Uh, but if we can do it in the spring as early as possible, then the native perennial herbaceous perennials can have that whole season to mature and go to seed, right? So they set seeds, they self-propagate. The, uh, if we're lucky, the woody invasive species don't have the opportunity to do that. And eventually they get crowded out because we're mowing them down in the spring. So that seed bank is minimized, right? And the perennials, the native perennials, go to seed. They've, some of them have already been going to seed, right? And the stalks of the native perennials, goldenrod and what have you, are often homes to larvae and or adult stages of many native insects, including many of the small native pollinating bees that are so important. So I saw a post recently on Instagram or something about this and the guy was uh, talking about a field of largely milkweed that had just been mowed down because that's what we do. Municipalities do it, states do it, uh, and, and many, many private uh, landowners, farmers do our brush hogging in the summer. I did it forever. That's when we did it. It's when we could do it. And you don't get stuck because the soil is drier than it is in the spring. I'm not saying this is easy, but we got to go there, folks. We got to go there. We got to find a way. Um, nowadays, uh, there are many track machines that can be mounted with powerful rotary mowers, track machines, put down less pounds per square foot, less pounds per square inch, much less likely to get stuck and make a mess. They do wonderful job. And any mowing that we do now, uh, I, I try to do it that way. Anyway, we want to let these native herbaceous perennial wildflowers have their full season for those seeds to mature and be cast and for those pollinators that are actually living in those stems through until spring when they emerge, when it's 55 degrees. You gotta educate yourself about this stuff. 
it's not all gonna fit in this two minute post but um that's that's what i have to say about that let's uh let's get away from mowing meadows in the summertime and yeah well that was the thing that this guy was saying on instagram we're murdering uh potentially larvae of many many pollinators and in that particular case it would have been uh, potential larvae of the monarch butterfly because we've destroyed their habitat destroyed their uh, their food source give us some thought appreciate your interest 